vinyl and book update. Let's do it. I'm just gonna unbox these records. I essentially bought a record for my dad for Father's Day, which is in September in Australia. Tell me if anyone else is like this. If I get someone else a record, like if I have to buy someone else a present and it's a record, I have to buy myself at least two or one as well. So I ended up buying myself three records when I bought my dad one for Christmas Day. Another thing is, I can't believe I did this, but I bought these records like right before record store day and had like a momentary lapse of <laughs> judgment on the amount of money that I should be spending on records right before RSD. It meant I couldn't buy as many records for record store day, but that's fine. What are you gonna do? That will be another video in the future regarding record store day. Most of these I bought brand new except one, I think. I just prefer to buy new records when buying online. So we mostly have new records here. I bought it from a store called Dutch Vinyl. So the first record that is on top here is, wow. They all have the price on them, so I'm really going to be exposed for the amount of money that I spend on records. It's Missy Elliott, Hit Him With Dahi, featuring Lil' Kim. This is like a single. This was pressed in 1998, but I think it came out like a year or two before that. I think I mentioned in my last video that I want to own more hip hop. And I was just looking at what came into the store recently at Dutch Vinyl, and they this just popped up as a recent thing that came in for $10. And I was like, mm, double LP, 10 bucks. Why not? You've got Hit It With Dahi, the LP version, and you've got the remixes. And then on the last side, on the D side, you have Beep Me, 911, Timberlands remix, and Socket To Me, Funky DL remix. Pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this when I saw it for like 10 bucks. And I really love Missy Elliott. She's one of my favorite female rappers of all time. I'm really into female hip hop. Cool little addition to my hip hop collection of like four records. Oh, damn, that's what, okay. So this is where the new records come in and I actually forgot what my fourth record was that I bought so I just saw it now and I'm actually I'm realizing this with you guys because I totally forgot what I bought I got parquet courts wide awake that's awesome man this is so cool I'm so happy with this this is one of my favorite records to come out in recent years this is rock and it is really good rock it's very catchy and very fun and the breakout like single on it would be wide awake that has this really catchy cowbell beat that I really like however actually the song off this album that I love is total football total football which is the first song on this album that's in like my top songs of all time now. Like for some reason that song just, I, it, I really like it. Before the Water Gets Too High is really good as well. Almost Had to Start a Fight is a really good song. Free Bird 2 is a really catchy song as well that a lot of people would probably like. And Normalization is really good. I mean, just I love a lot of songs off this album, honestly. Low Key remind me a lot of Devo. Their music isn't like super Devo-ish, but their overall vibe and how they present themselves. The guy doesn't really sing as much as like shouts a lot of the time, which sort of reminds me of Devo. See, see what I'm talking about? I just saw this in the bottom. I know what I'm talking about. Look in this bottom corner. There's like a Q and then an answer of A. Like that is Devo inspired, if anything. Come on. So it says Q, are you quite done? now a not at all like come on it's devo inspired it's right there it's right in front of your eyes i am so smart for picking up on that i didn't even see that and i knew that there was like a devo influence with this band the actual songwriting is really good on this album and it's such a fun album to listen to so i just wanted to own it it's like an album that i could listen to the whole thing and not really get bored so really wanted to own the whole entire album next we have the record that i got for my dad for father's day he already knows what i'm getting him so i don't need to hide it this is the smith's hat full of hollow one of my favorite albums ever i love this album so much. I, I was like, Dad, what do you want for Father's Day? He's like, hat full of hollow. I'm like, I can do that for you. I definitely want to give some money to buy another hat full of hollow record. There's like no bad songs on this record. Every single song on this album is so good. So this is such a good time and I think such a good record to own on vinyl because what happens with vinyl? You can't really skip anything and there's nothing you'd want to skip anyways, even if you could with this one. Lastly, I got my first heavy metal or metal record that I've ever owned. I did 
a video reacting to heavy metal music for the first time ever and I fell in love with a certain band that has an Ozzy Osbourne in it. I love his voice, I love this band, I love their songwriting, I love their raw sound, I love how they started heavy metal music essentially and that would be Black Sabbath. So I got their first studio album which is just self-titled. It says the debut album that founded heavy metal 50th anniversary includes legendary cuts Black Sabbath, NIB and The Wizard. Yeah let's open this up because I actually want to have a proper look at it. So you've got the upside down cross on the inside and a whole situation going on that I'll have to read later. Oh this is a 180 is it? This feels pretty heavy. This is super cool man. I love that. I love that label on this side. That's super cool. I wanted to start at the beginning. That's sort of how my brain works. Like I don't want to skip around and try and do different things. I want to put myself into the Black Sabbath world first. Really delve into them. I've been listening to this album and Paranoid mostly electronically and felt like I liked them enough, definitely liked them enough to be able to pick up my first heavy metal vinyl. And I'm very excited to own Paranoid next. That would be like my next sort of purchase that I want to do because Paranoid's probably like my favorite of the two, but I still really like this album as well. I'm a bit slow, like it's fine, but I, and I know there's a lot of heavy metal music to get around to and eventually I'll get around to it all, but I want to take my time and I'm going to continue to do that for a little while longer. And I'm very excited to use this vinyl to do so. So that's that's the vinyl unboxing. I'm now going to move on to a reading update quickly because I do read. <laughs> I listen to music and I read. Yes, I do. Firstly, I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book was pretty good. This is pretty interesting. I had a lot of people recommend me this book. I had my best friend recommend me this and I ended up giving it like a 3.5 out of 5 stars. So that's pretty good. It means I would recommend it to people that I think would really like it, but I don't think overall like it's a book that I would recommend just based off of it being a book. It's more like it suits certain people and it doesn't suit others. And it sort of suited me in a way, but sometimes it didn't suit me. But overall it was interesting. It did grip me and I thought it had a lot of interesting takes on Hollywood in the olden days because it's sort of set in olden day Hollywood. But overall, this book like wasn't groundbreaking or anything for me. Like I didn't really have a moment with this book where I was like, whoa, I'm in like shock and awe right now at how much this book is making me think. It's more just like that I enjoyed it. It was an okay read. What I'm currently reading, because I hate myself apparently, <laughs> is mammoths of books. I am always reading this book. Reading this book is now just part of my personality, but I actually did read a tiny bit more of it. I'm now over halfway, so everybody, Give me a round of applause, please. This is The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. If you never have met me before <laughs> virtually and you don't know that I'm reading this book, now you know and now you've caught up. And then I also picked up this book recently, which is Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. This is the new Twilight book, which is Twilight from Edward's perspective. I'm only like 75 pages into this, but you can already tell why this is like twice as long as Twilight because Edward thinks a lot and there is just so much more detail with this book and tried to add so much more to the original story. I don't know whether I like it or not, I'll see how I go, but I've got a long road ahead of me. And then also I have been really getting into this little local book swap that is in my apartment complex downstairs. So you're able to just put like a book there and then take another one, like a sort of like a book swap. And there's just like a bunch of books there that I can pick up. So I've been putting a lot of my old books there that I unhauled in my unhaul a few months ago when I moved and picking up some new books that I want to read instead. So I've got three books here that I have picked up. Firstly, I got Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. I I think Trevor Noah is pretty funny. There was a period of time where I really liked his show, The Today Show I think it was called, and I think that this book would be really interesting to read because it's about his life growing up in South Africa as someone that is mixed race. I also got I Am Malala by Malala Yousafzai. This is about a girl that was shot by the Taliban in Afghanistan and her story. So I feel like this is going to be a really heartwarming story in a weird way. Like I know she gets shot in the head by the Taliban and that is obviously traumatizing but I think in the end like a lot of positive comes out of it 
and she really has made a life for herself and made so much positive change in the world so I really want to read about that and read about her story. I'm not a huge autobiography type of person but hopefully I can get around this one. And then lastly I'm so excited I got The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. I have read this book before, my dad owns the exact same copy, I borrowed my dad's copy to read and I never actually had my own copy and this is one of my favourite Murakami books of all time and Murakami is one of my favourite authors of all time so I always felt a little annoyed not owning this book by him, like my own physical copy and to just come across like the same exact version that my dad has, I was just so excited to go grab this so also pick this up off the shelves downstairs. So those are the free books that I have recently acquired, this is what I have read or am reading right now and these are the records that I have recently got. Woohoo! So thank you all for watching, I'll see you all soon with some more exciting videos that I've got planned in the future. And let me know how you're all going at the moment through this whole crazy pandemic sesh. We've got a few more weeks of lockdown here in Melbourne and then hopefully we're making our way out of it. So while that's going on, I'm glad that I've got a lot of stuff to read and stuff to listen to. I should be set to get through it. So yeah, I hope everybody's doing well and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye bye bye.